Hi everyone, Christmas is just a few hours from now and since most of us are stuck at our home due to the pandemic, why don't we make the most out of it? By creating an electronic greeting card which we can send out to our friends and families. What you're seeing here is a GIF file from my local hard drive which I've created by just using PowerPoint. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. So sit back, relax, and learn. Okay, let's start by opening our PowerPoint application, blank presentation, and remove all the initial objects. And from this blank slate, we need a good background. You can just go to Google and search for animated GIF Christmas background and select the ones that you like. So for example, this one, uh, it's too small for me. Make sure that you selected a higher resolution animated GIF so that it will look good. If you select a smaller one, it could be blurred. So this one is a better one because it has a higher resolution. But I like this one better. So let me just right click on that and then copy image. Then you can paste it here. Control V. Okay. Now let's fill the whole slide with that. So we now have the background. And now let's get to the greeting. So I've already searched here can select anything that you want it's better to have an animated GIF so you won't have to animate anymore so I like this one better so I'm going to copy that and paste it in here on the slide and we have a black background here which is not good all you need to do is double click the picture or click the picture then go to the format ribbon and then to color and set transparent color and then click the black background of the picture there you go it's now transparent okay now let's make this personal i want to say merry christmas to all so let's add text here and let's select a different font for that Go with Hakoba Light. Merry Christmas to all and let's make it bigger. Now let's add some effects to the text. Go to the format ribbon, effects, and then glow. Let's add a green glow. I also advise to pause all the animated GIF when working on the slide since when it's playing, it slows down everything. And I also want to say Season's Greeting from Ribi Trivia. So I've also searched some good Season's Greeting animated GIF here. Just copy the image, paste it here. Rearrange that. Let me copy this one from, make it smaller. And let's change the color of that from, let's say, blue with a yellow glow from Ribi Trivia. So I just copied the Ribi Trivia picture. Let me just put it here, make it bigger. To make it more cheerful, let's add some more animation. Uh, let's add this Dancing Santa. Okay, paste. And again, let's set the picture's white background as a transparent color. There you go. And let's add it here. And let me pause that so I can work faster. Okay, and the last part that I want to add is keep safe everyone. So let's add another text. Maybe this one. Everyone. Why don't we move this further here? and keep safe everyone let's make the text white and black there you go let's make it smaller so now we're good everything is in place and we need to do the animation go to the animation ribbon and click on the animation pane here so let's do this one first there are three types of animation we have the entrance on how the object goes in emphasis it's uh, already existing in the slide and you want to make it move more and exit is going out of the slide let's do more entrance effect you can see every time you click here you will see the preview how the animation will look like okay why don't we just go with the spinner 
okay so from here you can see the default is always on click you need to change that because on click you will still need to click the presentation before the object's animation starts just make it with preview so it will start at zero seconds so at the start of the slide you will see that animation and let's go to this one let's add an animation for that entrance effect again and say whip yep, i like that this should go after the previous one or you can go to with previews and when you hover to this you can see that starts at zero and it's at 0 0.5 seconds so you can put a delay here of 0 0.5 and you can do a preview here okay that's good for me so season's greeting let's add a uh, fly in let's make it fly from the right side going to left okay so this will end at 1.2 seconds so let's uh, uh, make an entrance for this at two seconds okay so from let's also do a fly in again from and then ribi trivia um, let's add more entrance effect for it uh, maybe float yeah that's good okay so let's make this with previews and this ends at 2.5 so this should start at 2.5 this ends at 3 seconds so let's make this start at 3 seconds let's delay this for uh, 1 second and then the last one more entrance effect uh, rise up yep that's good this ends at 5 seconds with previews and let's make it 5 seconds oh one more this one so let's make this a fate uh, and this ends at 6 seconds so let's start this at 6 seconds with previews 6 seconds and maybe let's make the animation longer all good but it's always nice to have everything moving as you see them instead of just being stationary so uh, let's add another animation for theater let's make everything with previews and we will add a theater we have six to seven seconds so let's add 0.5 and we want to make this uh, as long as uh, 10 seconds so we need to exit everything so that we ha will have a loop effect so the, it will start with just a background so let's end it with just a background so if we are targeting 10 seconds we are adding 9 and it will start 9.5 so it will end 9.5 so we'll have 0.5 seconds to exit everything so let me just add this to theater and i will forward this uh, video so you will not be bored Okay, I'm done. So as you can see, everything ends in 9.5. And now let's exit everything. So let's select everything except the background. We don't want to exit the background. And add animation and more exit effect. Uh, let's just choose spinner. With previews and 9.5. So everything will end at 10 seconds. So let's run and exit okay so from the transition we need to uncheck the mouse click because it will only exit when you click the mouse so need to set that to after zero you can leave it as zero and after all the animation will just exit automatically or you can also set 10 seconds here so it will exit after 10 seconds okay let's save okay i've saved my powerpoint file to the desktop and now what we need to do next is to convert this powerpoint file into a video let's make it full 1080p just click save okay conversion is done so let's go to the desktop and open our video and see what it looks like merry christmas to all season's greetings from Ruby, Trima, the dancing and keep safe everyone and it goes on 10 seconds okay so now we need to convert this to a gif file to do that just go to google and search for video to gif okay so it's easy gif.com okay so from here you can choose the file we save it on the desktop so this is the mp4 we created then click upload video just wait for it 
Okay, there we go. It's loaded. So from here, you can select the size. It's up to 800 pixels. So this is the highest. Let's select that. And uh, frame per second or FPS, you can select 20. Since we have 10 seconds here, it will not work for this one. This will only work for less than 10 seconds video. 20, then click optimize for static background and convert to GIF. Okay, there we go. It's done. So save this, just right click, save image as, and let's save it on the desktop. Give it the same name, and there we go. It's done. So let's see. Show in folder. Let's open it on Chrome. There we go. We have the GIF. Okay, let me show you how we can post the GIF file. So we can create a post. Uh, in this example, I'm doing it on my Rebe Trivia Facebook page. And then you can just drag the GIF file into your post. Wait for it to load. Okay, and just click the post button. Okay, once you're done, you just need to refresh the page. Okay, here we go. There's our post. So you can check the Rebe Trivia Facebook page to view the electronic greeting card that we have created here in this video. And you can also send this to any other social media platform like Messenger or Twitter or anything else. Okay, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Novayer and Merry Christmas to everyone.